really quick video here on a semi-common question that we get related to the Azure DNS private resolver feature. So here we have a private resolver deployed inside a virtual network. I just want to talk about how the outbound rule sets can be used. So in this scenario here, we've got the resolver in this VNet and the resolver's got an inbound endpoint and an outbound endpoint with a rule set attached to it. I've got another VNet over here for the client VM inside of Azure. Notice how my custom DNS on that VNet are pointed at the inbound endpoint on the resolver. In the middle, I've got a virtual WAN hub stitching together those VNets. And I've got an express route circuit here connected to my VWAN hub's express route gateway, which gets me back to on-prem where I've got a DNS server there with 192.168.2.1. Quick typo edit. This should be VNet B, not VNet A. It is a separate VNet. Okay, so that's that's the end-to-end -end topology. Now, some scenarios you want to use the Azure DNS private resolver to not forward out to the internet, but conditionally forward back to on-premises. So inside of a rule set here, rule sets are always bound to outbound endpoints. You can imagine traffic coming into the private resolver comes into this IP, and then when the resolver needs to make use of a forwarding endpoint in your VNet to get to other onwards DNS servers, it makes use of this outbound subnet that you assign. We'll have a look in the portal in a second. What you can do, if you've, if you've followed this scenario where you've specified the inbound endpoint on your custom DNS servers, the traffic will flow from your VNet VM as per your custom DNS into the virtual WAN hub, via the hub to hub routing function, and it will hit the inbound endpoint of private resolver. And as long as your rule set here is linked, there's a concept of VNet links with private resolver rule sets. As long as we have a link between that private resolver rule set and the VNet within which your inbound endpoint sits, you're going to be able to make use of the rule set logic. And that rule set logic in my diagram is to send traffic, resolution traffic for Contoso.com back to a DNS server on-prem. So imagine the DNS server on-prem is authoritative for Contoso.com. When my resolver gets traffic destined for resolution to that subdomain, it will go to this IP address here, 192.168.2.1. It will forward traffic back to the virtual WAN hub and the virtual WAN hub will forward it back down express route and to the on-prem DNS server here. So the point I want to make here, the main point is you don't have to link all of your virtual networks to the rule set to make this work. And there are some constraints in terms of the number of VNets you can link, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a pattern which you might want to use depending on the scale of architecture that you're working with. The alternative pattern here where you would have to link all the VNets would be if you've left the custom DNS here specified as Azure DNS, and then you were making use of those VNet links on the resolver service. I'll quickly show you the config in the portal. It's relatively straightforward and I'll show you it working as well. Here's my resolver resource. Here's my inbound endpoint with the IP address there. I have some outbound endpoint configuration here with a rule set associated. On that rule set, I've got a single rule, which is contoso.com going back to my on-prem DNS server. Inside of VNet links, it's linked to a VNet, and that's the name of what I'm calling VNet B on the diagram here. If I look inside of my Windows server on-prem, which is running the DNS role, I can see I've got a local forward lookup zone specified of contoso.com with a, a record in for test pointing to the IP address 123.4. Now I've jumped onto my virtual machine here. That's in my spoke VNet in Azure. And I'm going to query my inbound endpoint of my resolver for this address that lives on premises. So I'm doing a dig at the inbound endpoint IP, the test.contoso.com. I'm getting back the A record there, 123.4. So the Main point was there around the behavior of the outbound rule sets working as long as they're linked to the private resolver VNet. You haven't got to link every VNet if you're using custom DNS pointing at the inbound endpoint. But also it highlights the overall value proposition of 
looking at their rules, right? We've used a native service in Azure to conditionally forward back to a domain that's managed on premises. And of course, the, there's many other areas where you would use the resolver where you maybe only make use of the inbound endpoint. So you, so the most common use case there would be things like private link, where you forward to the inbound endpoint for from the private link FQDNs, and then it forwards them straight to Azure DNS and got the whole story around Azure DNS private zones. Anyway, just a, a quick video there generated by a customer conversation. Hope you find it useful.